so good afternoon <clears throat> we'll begin um, so the last time we were looking at uh, normal matrices and uh, spectral theorem for uh, hermitian symmetric matrices we also discussed the qr factorization which is based on the gram schmidt uh, uh, orthogonalization procedure and uh, we started discussing these uh, canonical forms uh, canonical forms are a way to reduce a matrix to a simpler form which will allow you to compare matrices and see whether they have uh, the same canonical form or not which in turn allows you to conclude whether those matrices are going to be similar or not and other there are many other uses which we will discuss uh, in the in the course of these lectures now um, the specific form that we were start we were we started discussing is what is called the jordan canonical form so just to recall a matrix uh, a is called uh, is said to be nil potent of order k or index k if uh, a power k equals 0 for some for some value of k and typically the index is uh, what we uh, what we call the index is the smallest uh, dimension or the smallest uh, power you need to raise it to so that you get the zero matrix um, so for example if i take the two cross two matrix uh, 0, 1, 0, 0, this is nil potent of index 2 because when I take the square of this matrix, I get the all zero matrix. Um, uh, so basically the Jordan canonical form theorem will say that uh, every matrix is similar to a matrix of the form D plus N where D is a diagonal matrix and N is a nil potent matrix. Um, so um, so one other definition is that of a Jordan block. A Jordan block J of lambda is uh, of size some k cross k, where uh, basically you have you have lambdas on the diagonal, ones on the first super diagonal, and zeros everywhere else in the matrix. Uh, this you can see that this is of the form lambda times the identity matrix of size k cross k plus an ill-potent matrix because it has only ones on the first super diagonal. So the Jordan form theorem basically says that any matrix A of size n cross n is similar to a matrix J of this form. So it's a block diagonal matrix with Jordan blocks along the diagonal. And there are such Jordan blocks. And uh, each Ji of lambda i, the, the ith block, is a Jordan block corresponding to eigenvalue lambda i of A. So the same value of the uh, same eigenvalue could be repeated in multiple blocks. This block is of size ni cross ni for some value of ni. So for example, ni could even be equal to 1. Okay, so just to clarify what this theorem is saying, here are a few remarks. First, um, these lambda i's need not be distinct. That is the same lambda i could occur in multiple blocks. Um, the second is that this decomposition into this canonical form is unique up to a permutation of blocks. And third point, um, this matrix J is called the Jordan canonical form of A. Um, so the sum of the sizes of the blocks involving a particular eigenvalue is the algebraic multiplicity of that eigenvalue. Thank you. 
So what is the algebraic multiplicity? It is the number of times that the particular eigenvalue occurs as a root of the canonical. So basically the Jordan canonical form will, uh, if you are able to compute it, will reveal the algebraic multiplicity of all the eigenvalues of the matrix. Or it contains in it the information about what the um, algebraic multiplicity of every eigenvalue of the matrix is. The number of blocks involving a particular eigenvalue is the geometric multiplicity of that eigenvalue. So what is the geometric uh, multiplicity? It's the dimension of the eigenspace corresponding to that eigenvalue. Or in other words, the number of linearly independent vectors in the, in the uh, or linearly independent eigenvectors that you can find corresponding to the, that eigenvalue. That's the geometric multiplicity. And that equals the number of blocks containing a particular eigenvalue. So if the algebraic multiplicity multiplicity is equal to the geometric multiplicity for every eigenvalue, it means that all the Jordan blocks will be of size 1 cross 1. And uh, for every Jordan block, you will have uh, 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 one linearly independent eigenvalue, eigenvector. So um, this point is a little... Uh, uh, it, it's something good to know, but I won't elaborate on it um, because uh, it requires me to explain about the concept of minimal polynomials, which I'll come to a bit later. But for now, I'll just make a note here. And we maybe will do, go, go back and look at this when we discuss minimal polynomials. So the largest block... ...involving a particular eigenvalue... is the multiplicity of that eigenvalue in the minimal polynomial of A. So basically, this minimal polynomial of A is essentially, um, so for now, just for the sake of completeness, I'll, uh, uh, I'll write this here. So the minimal polynomial is the smallest degree monic polynomial. such that P of A equals zero. So we certainly know that uh, the characteristic polynomial is a polynomial satisfying P of A equals zero, but it's possible that there is a lower degree polynomial also satisfying P of A equals zero. And that smallest degree polynomial that you can find such that P of A equals zero is called the minimal polynomial of A. And the largest block is basically the multiplicity of that eigenvalue in such a minimal polynomial of A.
So if the Jordan block contain, consists entirely of one cross one blocks, then basically there are no super diagonal elements in the Jordan canonical form of the matrix. And that implies that the algebraic multiplicity equals the geometric multiplicity for every eigenvalue. And the Jordan form is actually a diagonal matrix. You can imagine that for a, uh, uh, you can easily see that for a, a matrix that is diagonalizable, the Jordan canonical form will come out to be a diagonal matrix. So uniqueness. Similar matrices will have the same Jordan form up to a permutation of blocks. Okay, so let's maybe look at one or two examples and see how this looks like. So if I take, for example, A equals the matrix 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, then um, one can check that If I do one one zero zero one two zero zero one inverse times zero one zero 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 one zero 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 times one one zero zero one two 0, 0, 1. If I carry out this multiplication, I will get this matrix 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, 0. Okay, so basically, this matrix in between here, this is the Jordan canonical form, which is actually equal to J3. It's a 3 cross 3 matrix here. So uh, it's a, again a notational abuse here because I had written J1, J2, etc., where Ji was an Ni cross Ni block, but uh, nonetheless I'll write it like this. It's a 3 cross 3 block, Jordan block, with lambda equals 0. Okay, see, this is an upper triangular matrix. Its eigenvalues are all equal to zero. That is obvious. But this is the simplest form you can reduce the matrix to, which is a which is the Jordan block of size three cross three associated with eigenvalue zero. So basically, this matrix has only one eigenvalue. One distinct eigenvalue lambda equals 0. So this uh, this lambda equals 0 has a algebraic multiplicity 3. Okay. 
and geometric multiplicity equal to 1. The eigenvalue 0 occurs in only one block of size 3 cross 3. So basically, if I asked uh, what is the eigenspace of lambda equal to 0, the set of vectors alpha 1, 0, 0, alpha and c. So I take any vector like this, I multiply it with this uh, matrix, I will get 0 times this vector 1, 0, 0. So it has only one linearly independent eigenvector corresponding to lambda equals 0. So it's a defective matrix. So here is another example. Now we take a slightly more elaborate example. So minus 2, minus 1, minus 3, 4, 3, 3, minus 2, 1, minus 1. Okay, if I asked what is the characteristic polynomial of this matrix, you can work it out. It, uh, it simplifies to 2 minus lambda the whole square times minus 4 minus lambda. Okay, and so that implies that the eigenvalues are 4 and minus 2. minus 4 and 2 okay and uh, these have um, algebraic multiplicity so corresponding to minus 4 the algebraic multiplicity is 1 corresponding to 2 the algebraic multiplicity is 2 so 2 occurs twice as the solution to the characteristic polynomial and the geometric multiplicity multiplicity is at most the algebraic multiplicity and in this case it turns out to be 1 and 1. It's always equal to at least 1 and it's at most equal to the algebraic multiplicity. So these things you take on faith for now. We'll actually see how to compute the Jordan canonical form next and then you'll be able to execute that for this matrix and see that all these are true. So the Jordan canonical form for this matrix is minus 4. So there will be two blocks. One block will correspond to the eigenvalue minus 4. And since the other one has a geometric multiplicity of 1 and an algebraic multiplicity of 2, the other block is a 2 cross 2 block with eigenvalue equal to 2. So that will be 2, 2, 1 and 0. Z2 cross 2 Jordan block corresponding to the eigenvalue 2 and the rest of the elements will be 0. So if you know the algebraic and geometric multiplicities, you can actually directly write out the Jordan canonical form. So this, uh, this thing here is one Jordan block. I'll call that J1 of minus 4. And this is another Jordan block. We can call that J2 of 2. It's a 2 cross 2 Jordan block associated with eigenvalue 2. Okay, so question is how do you find this, uh, this much? If you can figure out this much, then you can write out the Jordan canonical form. So that's what we'll discuss next.